I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. I really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. It's Dark Side Phil. I need that money to pay my bills. The electric bill. The internet bill. Stupid fucking trolls, man. I just want to chill. I rock back and forth on the X and Y axis. Tip me so I could catch up on back back. Yes, our boy DSP definitely needs that money. He really does. He needs that money. He really, really does. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video. Today, I am doing a video on our boy DSP and uh, during his daily rap video last night or early this morning, um, our boy DSP wrapped up his uh, day of streaming. And of course, the main thing that was missing was him addressing the WWE Champions uh controversy which he didn't address in the in the uh uh den head podcast which i like to call it or level zero podcast uh he ignored it he deleted comments chats banned people anyone asking about it so i did a separate video on that but this video is addressing our boy dsp uh bad streaming uh uh bad streaming day and little tips so he struggled yesterday with his little tips and if anybody watched uh his streams it was quite sad although if you watch the podcast the uh the the pre-stream podcast uh you would see that uh some of his members regardless of his whole wwd addiction controversy and them knowing about it you still had a couple of the whales that came out and gifted him about 80 uh memberships so of course, you know, that's a good haul for people, you know, it's a good haul for most people, but of course our DSP, it's never enough. He needs that money for them WWE pools and he needs them tips. He really does. So let's play the video. Uh, it's a couple minutes long and I will provide some commentary. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap. I'm Darside Phil, and today was Sunday, the 24th of July, 2022. Fun day today. A uh, good variety of stuff and kind of returning back to normalcy after having almost a week where we were handling two major new releases that both concluded over the last couple of days. On a level By the way, old man Phil is back. On the podcast, we covered a variety of topics, notably my final thoughts and almost kind of mini reviews on both As Dusk Falls and Stray both of which I've now completed the playthroughs of right here on DSP Gaming. So if you're interested in my final thoughts on those, check out the Level 1 podcast from earlier today. Or the Deadhead the podcast. Today was Fable Anniversary, which was fun to get back into after about a week away. We actually completed the entirety of the arena, and then we jumped into the rest of the game, uh, taking over this, this graveyard mission where all the undead were raising and finding a way to sneak into basically the back door into a, du a dungeon. In this said dungeon slash prison, freeing your uh, mother from a jail cell. It took a, a while to get through all this. Um, and that was pretty much the, the entirety of the stream. It was all major story development with a little bit of grinding. I think for about a half an hour, I did a little bit of grinding to try to level up a little extra and get extra renown in the world. Um, <clears throat> however, when I went to upload the videos, the whole first hour video of me going through the crying emoji in the chat crying yeah, emojis still having this corrupted issue i didn't have one in several weeks and now it happened again no commonality between when these these things corrupt it just happens um so <clears throat> when it corrupted i basically tried a feature on youtube that i so sad but so then sad I didn't find it and now it seems to be back so here's the thing about youtube when you stream youtube will auto archive your stream as a video backup so that if you need to reference it for anything, you can see it. Now, you can leave it public if you want, or you can make it private. You can make it unlisted so only people who have the direct link can see it. There's many things you can do with it. And so let's recap the situation. The <clears throat> there. I did nothing I wrong. I can do one of two things. Okay. I can either actually edit that archive stream down to the length of the hour that's missing, rename it, and have that be part of the playthrough, or you can try to take a clip or trim out of that stream and make it a whole other separate video. So it would be like, for example, um... Give up on you. How can I explain this so it makes sense? So you have an apple. Give up right? on you. You either cut the apple in half, and that half is there, and that's what you have, 
or you take a picture of the half of the apple. It's hard to explain it. That, would that has to be the stupidest analogy I've ever heard in my life. I mean, that's not a very good comparison. But basically, it's like the original video is physically changed to be that length and permanently changed so you can't ever see the full stream again. <clears throat> Or you take just a snapshot of that one hour video you want, make it a whole new video separate from the stream, the stream remains untouched over here, and you have a second video that's a copy that's made. I guess like, that's the better way to explain it. Be tough. The you thing know, is, I wish like I could have done that all the time. The I did this two, three yeah. months ago, when I first was having issues with corrupted videos, and it worked, and then the, the feature disappeared. It's back, as of today. So within 30 minutes of noticing that the video was corrupted, I was able to do a trim, save as a new video and part nine was live so far no one's complained apparently it works fine so i guess this feature will work in the meantime it's until Kevin's i can get fault. a new pc and a new um, setup so videos will stop corrupting i guess this is our solution it's is to Kevin's narrow fault. out um, missing videos and cut them out of the stream as their own separate deal okay so the videos are live you can watch them they should be fine if part nine seems to be slightly trimmed wrong and they're a little extra on the beginning or the end that's why okay the late stream tonight was more multiverses. The I'm new good at lying. <laughs> game from WB Games, featuring all different characters from Warner Brothers properties. Tonight, I unlocked the Iron Giant character. I had enough in-game currency from yesterday to buy that character and start using them right from the get-go. They're pretty good. They have a unique feature of transforming mid-match, which I didn't understand because I didn't play through their tutorial mode. I still had a lot of fun with them, and then I actually played a little bit more with Jake, uh, Taz, and Wonder Woman, and got much better with those characters. Ended up winning a lot of matches. My God, he's so so time. boring. Um, what I'm seeing from my audience is a mix. Although, admittedly, some people seem to like it. Others are like, nah, don't really like the game. Smash is better. Uh, as for support, it's rough. Like two nights in a row that I played this game, almost no support. Tonight, the only reason we ever even got any reasonable support is because at the last Begging minute, for money. Like thirty-four dollar tip out of nowhere. Yesterday was kind of similar to like the last thirty minutes. It was incredibly slow for support, and then all of a sudden, a few people uh, supported it again. Now, is this because this is a different kind of game? It's not a standard old-school fighting game. It's not a narrative-based game. It's Smash. I don't usually play Smash Brothers. I remember when the when Smash Brothers came out um, twice now, actually. Remember? Let's not forget, he got over 80 memberships on the pre-screen podcast. 80 memberships. So that's, uh, let's say, I think it makes three bucks or something like that, a membership, 80. So you're looking at over $240 that he received even before he did anything. And yet he's complaining about low tip, one low, uh, low tip stream. Anyway, let's keep going. There was the Smash Brothers game that was the cross play. Game. Well, it wasn't cross play, but first it came out on the 3DS. Then they released the Wii U version of it. I remember that one, and then the latest Smash 2 basically didn't get a lot of longevity in support. If I remember when I actually played the latest Smash Oh wait, campaign there's mode, more. Time I to got more support than when I played in multiplayer. I, I don't know what it is about me playing these kind of games multiplayer. They, they People just don't support it for some reason. I, it happened three times now, you know? Two because you're terrible at those games. Terrible, terrible. Two smashes ago, the last smash, and now this game that's kind of smash, all never <laughs> you seem even to get much support. For money. The thing is, I'm liking the game. That's and right, Cat. He begs for money. Characters and getting better at it and having fun, and I am winning matches and unlocking characters without having to spend any money, which is cool that it's a free-to-play game that you can do that. So. Yeah, he has to spend all his money on WWE champions. So I'm not against playing more multiverses, but I need people's buy-in that they're going to support it. Not that I'm going to have a night where it's like incredibly low support and i kind of just have to accept that you know what i mean so someone so some people donating 80 memberships isn't buy-in or support so i had a blast people seem to enjoy it support was low until that final tip that came in a lot of nowhere which i really appreciated um so let's talk tomorrow final fantasy 7 resumes I know it's been on hiatus for about a week. The new release is, it resumes tomorrow. We pick up right at the Temple of the Ancient. Yeah, look, there is it's giant a story creature. developments just um, money that advance the game basically oh, into the next phase. So I'm excited for that. 
I really love this playthrough. Remember, I pledged to you that I would keep Final Fantasy VII as a main gameplay stream as long as people show up, engage, and support the streams. So far, you guys have lived up to that agreement. So I'm a scam. Excited to bring it back where he tomorrow. told people there would be something amazing for streams, back, and they all were fooled stream. and had the wool pulled over their eyes, and they threw money different. at him like crazy, and then finally, like a scam artist, he danced around the stream like a preacher, and hallelujah, the money's coming in. Hallelujah! And then at the end of the stream, all he did was say that blatant attempt to ride the coattails of Street Fighter 2 as well as Mortal Kombat in the 1990s. And it, it was so bad of a ripoff, Capcom sued the game developer Data East saying that they had ripped them off and, and copied their idea. They lost in court, all right? But you are going to laugh at this game. It has hilarious stereotypes of characters from different regions of the world. The oh, that's why you like it. You love stereotypes, right? Let's not forget that he just recently talked about slave trade in one of his game playthrough about a little African-American girl. Things they say when they do these attacks, the attacks themselves are so ridiculously unbelievable. Seriously, if you want to have a great time laughing at an old school fighting game that everyone kind of... Like, for example, the Street Fighter movie. Everyone laughs at the 1990 Street Fighter movie starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's so bad, it's good. That's basically fighter's history. It's so bad, it's entertaining to watch because it was so stupidly made. So I hope you'll be here tomorrow for that. That's going to be a fun one-off stream. Why are we doing that? Because it was just added to Nintendo Switch Online. The Super Nintendo port, that is. So why not mess around with it just for one night, right? So, tomorrow, Final Fantasy VII and Fighters History. Thank you for a great day today. Please, everyone, have a good evening. I'll see you in the morning. Peace out. All right, God, he was just boring. Okay, so that's it. That's the video. So, as we can hear, our boy DSP, you know, it's never enough money for him. He got 80 memberships dropped on his uh, pre-steering podcast, and he's upset that he didn't make... Uh, his at least level tip two tip call of a hundred bucks, and he his day his night only got saved because somebody uh, a money creature came in and dropped thirty four dollars. So he's quite pathetic. So I'm gonna keep pushing on this. Hopefully today we'll keep putting pressure on him, and hopefully he'll crack and talk about the WWE championships. So peace out.